Hi everyone, my name is Banshee Lengenger and welcome to another season of PAC, Pokemon All-Star Competitions. Now this is not the official season, this is actually a side league, which we're going to be playing this, this time. We are going to upload this league every single Saturday, so hope to see you there. Now so let's check the rules of this side competition. We are playing at Wi-Fi level 50. Legendaries and Fluttermane are banned. Shettel, Last Respect and Revival Blessing are banned. But the most important one, Terra is banned. We're playing with no Terra at all in this entire league. And we have 120 points to draft between 9 and 11 Pokemons. Now this is my first league post home. So I'm really excited about it. No Terra is one of the formats I never played before yet so I'm actually quite excited to see how this works out I'm kind of, I was kind of getting used to Terra but let's see how playing a gen 9 league without Terra is gonna be so we're 12 coaches right for the side league we are 12 coaches and I got number eight which is almost in the middle of, of the draft it's not really the best looking uh, I didn't like eight but it's what we got, so let's just try to jump, jump into the the draft. We have 120 budget to pick between 9 and 11 Pokemons. I decided to go for 9, because there were some really good mock Pokemons. And since we're 12 and not 16, and with post home, there are even more Pokemons. So there are a lot of good Pokemons that are not going to get picked with 12 coaches. So I just decided to go for nine, nine good Pokemons. The first pick is gonna be Goldengo. We have to pick Goldengo. It's one of my favorite Pokemons of Gen 9 so far. It's amazing typing, Ghost Steel, amazing special attack. I think one of the best abilities, completely immune to any status conditions. And it's the best uh, blocker for removal hazard. It literally blocks Rapid Spin because of Ghost type, and it blocks Defog because of the ability Good as Gold. So it literally uh, even blocks Moral Spin. So it's compl it's an amazing blocker for hazard removal, and of course it's super solid all, all around. It is 15 points. The maximum amount was 18 points. For example, no, I think it was 19. Uh, the Dragon pulled were 19 points but I just went for Goldengo because I, I had to pick Goldengo it's my favorite Pokemon so far so for my second pick I went ahead and picked Zapdos I, I wanted to use it again it wasn't Gen 9 before home and now it's finally back in Gen 9 so I just I decided to go for Zapdos <clears throat> its weakness is ice and rock with Goldengo really takes and with Goldengo and Zapdos, I have two amazing pivots that can heal up, recover, and roost. So Zapdos really fits with Goldengo here. It lost Defog sadly, but it's still Zapdos. Amazing special attacker, and it's a decent defensive check with the static ability. Super solid. For a third pick, I wanted to I wanted a Rabbit Spinner. <laughs> Honestly, I wanted a Rabbit Spinner. And there weren't there weren't a lot left, so I just went ahead and picked Quakeoval. It's not the best rapid spinner, but it is a rapid spinner, and it's and a very very offensive yeah, water fighting Pokemon with Moxie. It can really snowball and kill everything. And now this gets Roost too and U-turn, so. I really like Pokemon and can heal up, heal up with Recover or Roost. So obviously I'm going to pick it if it's possible. Now I have a Hazard Blocker, Hazard Removal Blocker, I have a Rapid Spinner, but so far I have no Hazard Setter. So I went with the best Hazard Setter in my opinion, which is Glimora. Glimora not only has the Toxic Debris, which sets up Toxic Spikes without even having to click for Toxic Spikes, 
It also gets spikes and stealth rock, so it's amazing, amazing hazard setter. It gets all three hazards, and it actually gets moral spins. So it is another, it's like pseudo rapid spinner. So it's very good to have uh, another rapid spinner other than Quaquaval. Now with Glimora, it's a rock poison it also removes toxic spikes from my side of the field which is super good to have you always have to have a grounded poison type to remove toxic spikes and i was usually using quillfish which is not the best pokemon because i don't want to always be forced to bring quillfish just to remove toxic spikes so with glimora now since it's a very good pokemon i probably will bring it more often than quillfish now we already have pretty much anything I wanted, like a hazard setter, a hazard removal, I have a hazard removal blocker, but they're quite slow, like my fastest one is Zapdos with the hundreds, and I, we're really running out of fast Pokemons. So I, I picked the last fast Pokemon that was, that, that was decently good, and I went ahead and picked Cinderace. Cinderace with 119 speed, I had to pick it, 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 it gets U-turn as well, which is super good, and Libra is actually allowed here, so Cinderace is actually still good, I know Libra got nerfed, but it's still a good ability to have, and I, I, I had to pick it, I had to pick Cinderace. Now for a 6 picks, I and you really needed a fairy, and there were almost no fairies left. Literally, almost no fairies left, I, except for this one. It was a little expensive, but I had to go for it. It's another water type, but I never picked it. It's a Zumeril. I actually never picked a Zumeril before. It's my first time using a Zumeril. Hope it actually works. Water fairy is. A very very good combo and it actually is a check for a lot of the threats like it resists both stabs from Chimpao, it resists both stabs from Chiyu, uh, it resists both stabs from the walking wake so it's a very good threat check like honestly uh, it does not check Dragapult, but it's somewhat of a threat, and always the belly drum is there. The good thing about having Azumarill and Quickwavel, which are two amazing water threats, is that one could kill the water resist from for the other. So for example, I could go for belly drum Azumarill, break the water resist, then swap into Quickwavel uh, and just clean with quick quail because the water resist is gone so that's a very good thing i wanted to, to try out having two water types to break the opponent and defensive wise water is always one of the best types you you can't have two water types if they do different stuff now i don't have a ground type yet and i'm kind of weak to electric because i have two water types so I had to pick a ground type and I I wanted to use this mon again. I haven't used it for a while, so I went ahead and picked Crocodile. It's my second Moxie mon. With Quick Quavel, now Crocodile I have two Pokemon that have Moxie, which could potentially snowball both of them. So they're amazing Scarfers. Uh, it did lose knockoff, but it's another Stealth Rocker. And with Intimidate, it actually provides some decent defensive capabilities for my team. So I need it, I basically need it for an electric check, but with Intimidate, it can check a few more months. Uh, for 8 mon, I have 19 points left, uh, which honestly, it wasn't a lot, but I really wanted to use a good grass type, and they're not that many grass types. If I pick a grass type, I usually don't use it use it because it's very low tier. So the only 
grass types I usually do like to use are Rillaboom, for example, but Rillaboom was always was gone already. And this time I went ahead and picked Iron Leaves. Now I never used Iron Leaves yet. I know without without the electric terrain is not that big of a threat, but it actually provides me with decent defensive capabilities. It, ha it provides me ground resist, uh, another electric resist, and a well I don't need a water resist, but another water resist. And it actually uh, after the Cinderace, my fastest one was the Zapdos with 104 iron leaves provides me a little over. A little more speed because I actually do not have anything faster than Cinderace. So now I can break mons that are 100 base speed, like Palafin, Chiyu, with another mon. Uh, it outspeeds the guard jump, for example. So it's good to have a Pokemon that's oh, uh, faster than 100. Uh, I had 6 points left now. So for a last Pokemon. I was basically looking for a better ghost resist because so far my only ghost resist was the crocodile which I felt was a little bit uh, a little bit weak only having crook as a ghost resist so I th I thought to myself I really need a very very good normal type which can eat ghost type ghost type pokemons every day Especially because the Spectre was really threatening for me. I, I had zero s switchings for Spectre, for example. Because now that I got Draining Kiss, Crook is not really switching for Spectre. So I went ahead and picked Ursaring. Ursaring, with the Eevee Light, it became quite bulkier now. Because Max HP Eevee Light is super bulky now. You don't even need Defense Investment. Just Max HP, Max Attack, Eevee Light is, provides a lot of bulk. And with the Guts ability, I cannot get burned by any of the Ghost types that actually like to go for Will-O-Wisp. So for example, for the Spectre, it's an amazing check. He literally cannot touch me. Because with Evil Light, I mean with the Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse does nothing, and Draining Kiss does nothing. He can't burn me because I can, I, I'm Guts. So I, I'm completely wall the Spectre. It could be a check for the Dragapult, but the Dragon Pulse is a little more scary because it could be Bandit or Specs, and I can't invest. I can't really take both physical and special sides. But it was mainly for a Spectre check. Now this is gonna be my team for now. Hope you like it. If you have anything to comment about, if I, I over oversaw something, just leave a comment down below, and we're gonna upload every single week Saturday every Saturday I'm gonna upload the next week so see the next Saturday I'm gonna upload week one I hope to see you there again and until again next time